Hi there, my name is Tom, and I was just three years old when my mom left my dad. He was a major jerk, and she was so much happier without him. The only problem was that we were broke. My mom worked two jobs at once, but that wasn't enough for school, clothes, books, rent. The list was endless. I wanted to help my mom so badly that when I was six, I tried to get a job at McDonald's. All the adults laughed at my application form. It was filled out with crayon. I was so mad. I wanted to be a grown-up. When mom found out, she said, Tom, the best way to help me is by doing well at school. You don't need to get a job. Oh, you're so cute. From that day, I started paying really close attention at school. I worked hard at getting the best grades. And by the time I was 12, I was topping the district. That's how I got into the richest, snobbiest school in town. They found me and offered me a full scholarship if I transferred right away. I didn't want to leave my friends, but free school was too much to give up. So, I started going to the rich side of town. Everything was different here. The roads were cleaner, the houses were bigger, and the people were meaner. The meanest of them all was Blake. His father owned the school, and he did whatever he liked. My first day, they saw him push a kid off his bike for no reason. Hey, stop that! I rushed to help the kid up and told Blake to back off. You must be new. Do you have any idea who I am? A massive jerk? The people watching laughed, and Blake turned beet red. I'm your worst nightmare. He meant it. He tried to bully me every single day for four years. He called me names, stole my books, and spread false rumors about me. One day, he pulled the fire alarm and told the teacher I did it. Obviously, they believed him over me. I got a whole week of detention. I didn't have time for this mess. I had to study hard all day. And now that I was older, I helped my mom by doing a job at night. We were so poor compared to everyone at school, and I did my best to hide it. I lied to everyone when they asked me what my parents do. They sell computers. They're super rich. I made sure I got the best clothes from the donation boxes in town and checked them for any imperfections. One time, I missed a tear on my coat, and Blake caught it right away. Torn clothes? How pathetic. Are you too poor to afford basic things? No one laughed with him. You see, other people in school really started to like me over the years. I was funny, friendly, and I didn't bully them. Blake hated this. To top it all off, I beat his grades every single time. The day the school was honoring its toppers, all hell broke loose. This loser cannot win first place! He's a cheater! Excuse me? I beat you fair and square! Blake ran over to me and tried to yank my medal off my neck. Give it to me. Give it! No! I shoved Blake away from me and he fell back. Everyone laughed, and he began to yell loudly. Ah! Oh, he hurt me! I sprained my leg! Ah! Oh. He was good at putting on a show. The teachers dragged us to the principal's office, and I got the worst yelling of my life. I want him out of this school, Dad. Tom is our best student. We can't get rid of him. How dare you hit my son! Blake attacked me first! So what? You should never hit back. You hurt him. He's faking it! He just wants me to get into trouble! You're both in trouble. One whole week of detention, and you both have to show the new students around the school. Our school was huge, and new people had to have guides for their first week. I really didn't want to babysit with Blake, but I had no choice. We both met the new student the next day, and wow, she was stunning. She had the most beautiful brown eyes I've ever seen. The moment Blake saw her, he turned to me. You can go. I can help her alone. I won't tell the teachers. Away! You're a snake! Look. That's Lisa. I've known her since we were kids, and her dad is even richer than mine. I want to date her, so just go away! Obviously, I didn't go away. Instead, I raced up to Lisa first and gave her my best smile. I never really flirted with a girl before, but I gave it my best shot. Hi, I'm Tom. You're cute. Do you, uh, like tacos? Uh, yes. I love tacos. Would you like to eat some with me after school? Okay. Why not? You're pretty cute, too. Blake literally jumped in between us. Lisa, remember me? Blake? Our dads are in the same country club. Kind of. Uh, do you want to go with me? Tonight? I'll take you somewhere fancy. Sorry, I'm getting tacos with Tom today. His expression was priceless. That's what he gets for messing with me. Lisa and I went out, and I had a surprisingly good time. She was so goofy and hilarious. Some of her jokes made me choke with laughter. Wow. I'm actually having fun. I'm glad I messed with Blake. What? Oh, Blake has a crush on you. And he's been kind of a jerk to me, so I asked you out first. What? I thought you thought I was cute. Uh-oh. 
I, I do think you're cute, but... But what? I'm just a pawn in your boy games? You just used me to mess with someone. You're a jerk. She threw her taco at me and ran away. I quickly paid the taco guy and chased after her, but she was gone. Dang it. Blake was turning me into a terrible person. I tried to apologize to Lisa the next day, but she wouldn't even look at me. I almost gave up until one day, when we ended up in the same elevator together. I acted on instinct. I pressed the stop button. What are you doing? I want to apologize, but you keep running away. Don't bother. I'm never going to go out with you again. I don't want you to go out with me. I'm just sorry. I act like a complete idiot, and you have every right to hate me. She looked shocked. Really? You mean that? Yes. I'm really sorry. I was so stupid. Agreed. You'll have to buy me, like, a hundred tacos to make up for it. Does that mean we can be friends? Yeah. Okay. I forgive you. Yes! All 100 tacos were worth it, because Lisa was amazing. She was kind, funny, and most importantly, she was a really good friend. She was always there to help her friends with their troubles, and I felt like I could tell her almost anything. Almost. One day, Lisa asked me what my parents did for a living, and I felt real fear. If she finds out I'm poor, she won't like me. I lied quickly, hoping this would go away. But one day, Lisa wanted to walk me home, and I was trapped. I had to take her to a random mansion and pretend it was mine. I went inside and hid in the bushes till she went away. If that wasn't crazy enough, one night, she walked into the restaurant where I worked. The moment I saw her, I ducked and hid under a table. The manager called for me like 10 times, but I just couldn't make myself get out. Why was I going so crazy over this girl? Suddenly, three pairs of legs joined me under the table. My manager had seated women there. I immediately crawled out of the table and all three women screamed sending their food flying all over the floor. My manager caught me by the collar and fired me on the spot. If I wasn't horrified enough, I turned to see Lisa staring at me with her mouth open. Oh no, I just ran home. By the time Lisa confronted me in school, I had a lie ready for her. I got that job so I could learn some responsibility. It's not good to just live off my parents. But why were you under the table? I dropped my phone. I was looking for it. Somehow, the lie worked, and Lisa gave me a big hug to comfort me. Phew, I was close. I was heading home from school that day when I felt someone pull me back. It was Blake. Why were you hugging Lisa at school? None of your business, moron. Didn't I tell you I like her? You better back off before I make you pay. Make me pay? <laughs> your dad can't kick me out of school. You have no power here. I stormed away from him with my head held high. Thinking I'd won this battle, I had no idea how far Blake would go for a shot at Lisa. She and I were having lunch in the cafeteria one day, when Blake came over with his gang. Hey Tom, your parents are rich, right? Yes, they sell computers. Hmm, then why are you wearing clothes that I threw in the garbage? I was in shock. Blake pulled out his phone and played a video for everyone. It was me, searching for clothes in the donation bins. We saw you hunting for clothes like a cheap beggar. We followed you, and you live in a tiny apartment on the bad side of town. Everyone around me was whispering. I couldn't even bear to look up at Lisa. My secret was finally out. So, what do your parents really do? Do they even have a job, or are they pathetic like you? I couldn't take it anymore. I got off my feet and punched Blake right in the face in front of everyone. I just lost it. <laughs> I'm reporting you to my dad. Everyone saw that, right? He punched me! I was suspended for two weeks after that, which was just fine with me. Felt like my life was over. I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to study. And I didn't want to see anyone. I turned my phone off so none of my friends could reach me. I was locked in my room for a whole week until one day, there was a knock on my door. Lisa was here. She saw me in my tiny apartment. I was wearing old, faded hand-me-downs. What are you doing here? How did you find me? I can track people. Why didn't you answer my calls? I was worried. Maybe I'm embarrassed and I want to be alone. You shouldn't be embarrassed for being poor. You should be embarrassed for lying to me about it. Oh, I should have told you the truth. That my mom's a waitress and a janitor. That my dad abandoned us and we live like beggars. Which part makes you want to go out with me? She looked shell-shocked. Wait, you want to go out with me? I never said that. Just leave me alone, Lisa. I went into my room and slammed the door shut. I wanted to be anyone else except me right now. It got so much worse when I opened Instagram. 
and saw pictures of Blake and Lisa together. I guess she found someone who can take care of her the way she deserved. I was in the worst mood of my life when I started school again. Lisa tried to talk to me a few times, but I just ran away from her. I thought I could just avoid her forever. Until one day, we ended up on the same elevator. Alone. She punched the stop button, and the elevator came to a halt. How long are you going to ignore me, Tom? You are driving me crazy! I don't want to talk to you about my lies. I don't want to hear about your dates with Blake. We're not dating, you idiot! I only clicked those selfies because he literally begged me. I like you. It took me a few seconds to get that. You like me? Are you blind? I've liked you since the first day we met. It doesn't matter. We can't be together, Lisa. I'm poorer than your gardeners. I have nothing to offer you. You have everything to offer me. You're a good friend. You're an amazing son. You're clever and you're handsome. I was speechless. Lisa grabbed my collar and gave me a full peck on the lips. 